I thought we would try something a little bit different today. Welcome to my kitchen, a place I am not in very often. Um, I would consider myself an amateur cook on a good day. You know, I've got about six, seven recipe books, but I've only probably made half a dozen recipes at most out of all of them. So the big hot new thing, meal delivery kits, and I want to take a crack at it because I do sometimes get bored with what I'm preparing since I do try to keep it so simple and I want to spice it up a little bit, try something new. Uh, I've heard good things. Specifically, I decided to try Blue Apron today because my mom has made a couple of their recipes. Now, my mom has made them, not me. So I thought I would take you through it today. Uh, from opening a box to plating it and give you my honest review on someone who is just trying to find a different option for dinner. Wish me luck. I just unloaded my blue apron box with all of my food and goodies for three meals, cheesy enchiladas, burgers with sweet potato fries, and the last one is a casserole dish. I'm gonna call this cooking for dummies because it's very easily marked. Let me show you. All of the meals come in one box, but if you look here, every single ingredient is labeled with which meal it goes to. So chicken enchiladas here, and then it says knickknacks for the casserole here so that I'm not left piecing it together. Well, I've got all my ingredients to make sun choke and egg noodle casserole. I, I don't even know what a sun choke is, but this is a sun choke. And I know this because they've labeled it for me. So this is not typically a recipe I would make. I mean, let's be real. I don't cook that much anyway, so I'm definitely not gonna be looking for sun chokes in the supermarket. But they've made it so easy on the front with the ingredients, and then when you flip it on the back, you can see that it's got everything from the prep to how you're supposed to cook it to how you're supposed to cut it. They've even added pictures. At this point, my pot of water is boiling, and I'm gonna put in my noodles. Um, so far, so good. I had a little trouble peeling the sunchoke, but I think we're over that hurdle. The instructions on this card are pretty thorough. It is telling me to reserve half of the noodle water or half a cup of the noodle water to use for later. And then I'll pour the rest of the noodles in here. And it says to use cold water to get them to stop cooking. <laughs> what am I doing? Three points. I feel like I'm doing a little bit of multitasking here. I've panicked a couple of times because the sauce is the most important part and I don't want to mess it up. This is the last step in the process. Uh, and then I'll combine everything. So I've already heated the kale and the sunchoke and I've cooked my noodles and now I'm making the sauce and then I'll combine them all in this pot and then after that I'll put them in a baking dish and I'll bake it. So I'm gonna transfer this in here, 10 to 12 minutes. I've already added a little salt and pepper and then we'll pull it out of the oven and we'll see how it is. Boy, is that not true. Okay, 10 to 12 minutes in the oven at 450 and I have got my casserole done. So I'm gonna plate it and I'm gonna taste it, see how I did. Looks and smells pretty good. This was the Blue Apron casserole again. And I'll be honest with you, I thought it was super easy. I only felt a little stressed out when I was making the sauce, but I think that's a personal problem. And I salted and peppered it to my taste I found that the recipe was easy to follow. All of the ingredients were here and I would definitely do it again. Now, it says it takes about 30 minutes total from start to finish, but of course, since we did a lot of stopping and starting to walk everybody through it, it took a little longer, created quite the mess, but I've cleaned that up. I would definitely order again. And I think I would wanna make sure, especially since I'm 
uh, new to cooking and I don't cook that often, I'd want to make sure that I have recipes that were simple, uh, like the casserole or the beef enchilada, the burgers that they sent in the pack. I would want to make sure that I kept the ingredients easy so that I didn't overcomplicate things. But in the meantime, I'll stop talking and I'll taste. Sorry, it's a little hot. They're delicious. I decided to come back and get seconds. <laughs> um, this particular recipe, it says it serves two uh, with maybe a leftover portion for three, but honestly, I think this could serve four to five people. It's quite a bit of food. Now, other recipes may be different, like the burgers, which say they come with enough meat for two patties, although I'm going to try to get three out of that. But I think that this is enough for um, my family and then to have leftovers the next day. And who doesn't like that? Since making the casserole, I've gone ahead and prepared the burgers and the enchiladas. Let me tell you, I got a couple of days out of the enchiladas. The burgers, not so much. I mean, it was just feeding two people. But here's the thing on the enchiladas, like with the casserole, the calorie per serving is high. So if you are on a strict diet or you're really counting your calories, perhaps you're on some sort of a program, I'd be careful because some of these servings are between five, 700 calories. And that's quite a bit for someone who's looking for half that. So definitely keep that in mind when you're prepping because they're using real butter, they're using all the good ingredients, and you just wanna be careful because it adds up quickly, especially if you were to pair it with like bread or something else alongside. Now, I will tell you, I probably messed up every single dish in my kitchen. I don't have a lot of them, but there was a lot of cleanup. I mean, at least a good 10, 15 minutes of scrubbing down pots because you're prepping the sauce and you're prepping this. And it just took a lot of time to clean up. That was something I was not expecting. I was so worried about how long the meal prep would take. I didn't even think about the cleanup. So it got dirty in here. Other than that, they were easy enough. Every dish tasted great. Even though something like enchiladas isn't super creative, I never would have made some sort of a tomatilla sauce. <laughs> I never would have thought that wouldn't have crossed my mind because I don't cook very often. So if you're like me and you're wanting to come up with something creative that you don't have to think about, this is a good way to do it. If you're an expert cook in the kitchen, well, I mean, I'm not so sure you need it, but that's the first and only time I've ever cooked a tomatilla sauce for an enchilada and it was delicious. So get you out of your box, out of your comfort zone, and spices up dinner, which is what I was looking for. I have put a link down to Blue Apron at the bottom in the description box. If you have any experiences with Blue Apron or another meal delivery kit, let me know, I wanna hear about it. I'd like to try something else. If you liked what you saw, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for a new video. Have a great week.